Just wanted to show you what the copper wire looks like after uh, I've leveled it. And you can see that this one is much less crushed than that one. Uh, I'm getting ready to clean this with uh, alcohol and then acetone and then uh, wax the rail and screws and then get ready to uh, do the epoxy. Got the JB Weld and the epoxy wire on. Now it's just time to pop the rail on there and start adjusting. All right, I got the rail put on. Uh, I put the screws in first and then put the uh, rail down uh, to kind of keep the epoxy from getting into the screw holes. And on the other side, I wiped off the rail all the way down because I'm going to indicate off that side. So. I wiped it down so that it, the indicator won't be affected by the epoxy. Now I'm going to start adjusting. Oh, and all the screws are tensioned like just barely. So they're barely tight. So, yeah. All right, so I think I got my preferred method going here. Uh, it's, I think, straight and flat to about five ten thousandths. So here's my Mitutoyo tense indicator. I'll run it down the uh, length here. Pretty good. I'll uh, I'll set up the uh, levelness so you guys can see it too. All right, here's the uh, flatness of the rail. So it's definitely within a thou. Um, you know, there's a couple spots that are. Kind of high or low, and you can definitely see that pattern that I was talking about, with the uh, you know the copper wire being higher. So all the places in between are always just you know probably three tenths higher than the uh, bolts. So is it ideal? No, but will it work for me? Yes. What is up, everybody? So had a little bit of a problem. Um, I mounted these uh, rails with uh, JB Weld and copper wire to get them straight and flat, but you know how I'm uh, unwilling to do things the right way? Well, that bit me this time. <laughs> Not surprised. Uh, when I put these on, I waxed the rails and that is so I could get them off in case anything went wrong, and it did. So. This was straight and flat, right? But they are twisted because these surfaces are twisted. Um, so I have a new plan. Um, I should have done this in the first place, but you know, I figured these. I figured these surfaces were not twisted. It was okay if they were bowed and also not like flat or uh, parallel to the top of the table. But it's not okay if they're twisted using this method. I thought about 3D printing a handle to put on the rail and then like twisting it and compressing the copper wire on one side, uh, whichever direction it needs to be twisted. But I think I've got a better way. Uh, so what I'm going to try next, I'm going to chisel off all of this uh, JB Weld, which comes off mm, fairly easily. Uh, it did make a really nice little channel for this uh, rail to go into. It pops right in. And it's very firm. Like uh, that, I think that's a really good uh, surface. And uh, so what I'm going to try to do, um, I'm going to get my granite straight edge. Let me just grab it real quick here. I'm going to put it on here. Uh, so this is what we're going to try. I'm going to shim this uh, wherever it needs to be shimmed to get it flat. I'll, I'll, you know, measure. I'll measure it and base it off these things right here, uh, off the uh, old rail surfaces probably. 
So I'll shim it to where it's straight this way and as flat as possible this way. And that will get it, you know, pretty flat. And then I'm going to uh, put JB Weld down, just like a big sheet of it over the whole surface uh, of the metal. And then I'm going to get a piece of saran wrap and spray it with cooking spray, put that on top of the JB Weld, and then set this on top of it. And so those shims will still be there. This thing will be sitting on the shims. And this thing is straight and flat to within two ten thousandths over 24 inches. And that will effectively cast a JB Weld surface on this thing that is flat within two ten thousandths of an inch. And it should be, if I get it shimmed right, it should be square to the table also. So that's my current idea, and I think it will work. Uh, unfortunately, my straight edge is about three inches shorter than the table, so I'll have to make sure that the straight edge is up a little bit on that side, or basically lift the plane of the bottom of the straight edge up a little bit so that I make sure that the edge will be covered also. Uh, and then, once it cures, um, I will just scoot the straight edge down and just let the straight edge rest on the surface I already created and just to do, to do that last little bit. So, should be very interesting. Uh, so I'm going to scrape off all this JB Weld and then I will take a piece of paper, put it on top and do a rubbing of the whole pattern so that I can, uh, after I put the JB Weld on, I can punch the holes through so that I don't lose my mounting holes. And uh, then the surface, then I can put the rail directly on top of it. Um, yeah. And then I can, uh, you know, if I need to make any adjustments using my other method, it should be much easier uh, because the surface will be at least straight and not bent and warped like this. I'm crazy, I know. But it's gonna work. I got this. This is going to happen. Because I refuse to pay someone a ton of money to machine these properly. <laughs> uh, I thought about buying a second milling machine to do this, but uh, I wanna see if I can do it without. Plus, if I can do this, then it could help other people too. So, yeah, uh, I will make that in my next video. I will see you all later.